on your screens. We have the officials of the Philippine Badminton Association. On the left, that was General Edgar Aguilipay. Right beside him was Mrs. Amelita Ming Ramos. And beside Mrs. Ramos was former President of the Philippines, Fidel V. Ramos. Back to the action. Sayin and Wild ties things up at 11. Nice cross court smash by Sayin and Wild. She goes up for it, getting it cross court for the winner. And Wong, whenever she loses a point, immediately looks over to her coaches. It's wide. I'd love to see Saina go back to what she was doing earlier in the uh, first game. Instead of trying to uh, go through the defense of uh, Wong Pei Shan. Well, you noticed it at the start of the second game, she changed strategy. Mm -hmm. And that's a bit surprising because she won the first game. Right. She was so effective in, uh, with the, the style that she was uh, using in that first game. That elicits a smile from Saina, but I'm sure deep down she's very disappointed because right now she's down by three. That one stays in. Three-point lead enjoyed by Wong Peishan, and she continues to get advice from her coaches. That, of course, being one of the uh, changes this year in uh, the rules of badminton. Side coaching is allowed during a match. You know, going back to that point of side coaching, I've always felt that coaching goes on anyway. Well, actually, no. You wouldn't have the coaches by the court. But they'll be sending signals anyway from, from wherever they are. So right. coaching really goes on, and they're just trying to not get caught, I guess, by the, <laughs> the chair umpire. I guess the instructions are much clearer now. It brings, again, brings uh, the coach, you know, closer and his role more crucial in the... Uh, in every match. That is what really has been helping out Saina. Yes. I think she's gone back to that strategy that you mentioned. Which was very successful for her in game number one. Shots of hers have really done her well. She really, we're sets at 16. she really sets herself up well that way using those attacking spheres. Well, the lift that time wasn't deep enough. Right, that was very short. Saina smashing from the midcourt. After being down by about three points, she's now up by one. And momentum really swinging 
to the other side. Saina's way. Oh, that was a fantastic point. Son flips the tape, falls in for Wong. There you go, the shuttle just just clipping the tape. Disappointed, Saina says, can we take a break? We need to towel off first. And so we have a halt in the action. Tied at 17. I can just imagine the emotion. I mean, the emotions that Saina is going to... I mean, it's just going to explode, I mean, if she wins this final. But right now, she's on pins and needles. And so is Wong Pei Shan with her back against the wall. She needs to win this game. Oh, great response here from Saina Nawal. It seems like she will not be denied this championship. She's feeling it right now. Oh, come on, just long. We're tied again at 18. there long pushing that just a bit too far point away from match point has been a brilliant strategy employed by Saina Newal. And will it get her the title? Not yet, at least. Well, you said there. Wong Peishan is a fighter. She's a fighter, for sure. Still championship point. Oh, and now we're tied. under the new scoring system first player to lead by two wins the match it's now championship point number three for Saina Nawal will this prove to be the charm Congratulations to India's Saina Nawal. What a nail biter that final point was. And everybody here at the Phil Sports Arena applauding this young lady. This is her coming out party. Watch the final point. She let that go and she made the right decision. And she is our champion in the ladies singles for the Philippine Open 2006 brought to you by Bingo Bonanza.